doop doop a doop a doop doop a doop today's gonna be a wonderful day i have a good feeling today's my day it's gonna be a super fun happy fun day hooray i can't wait to get today started oh boy oh boy all right first thing i gotta do on my daily schedule is check on my anime waifus uh hey there babe how are you today That's excellent news. I'm glad you're doing good. Wait a second. Something doesn't seem right. Hold on a second. I'm pretty sure when people act different, that means something's wrong. Uh, hey, is, uh, is you okay? Is something wrong? Uh... Oh, wait a second. Oh, you're not in pain. For a second, I thought you were in pain. Oh, man, I really am stupid. You're just sleeping. You're snoring and... Wait a minute. You're sleeping then. Wait, it's bedtime already? How's it bedtime already? I could have sworn I just woke up like two minutes ago. Man, it's, it's nap time already. Well, I guess I better get to bed. Oh, Fred. Oh, yes? W what's up? Uh, I don't feel good. Uh, listen, I know I may also suck at English, but... Listen, you gotta you gotta try a bit harder. I'm already down by like a ton of brain cells, so I have no idea what the heck you're saying. I don't feel good. Oh, you don't feel good? Um, hmm. Wait a second. Also, is it just me or does your stomach look a lot bigger than uh the normal? Hmm. Hmm. Feels like there's something going on here. Something I should easily be able to figure out, but um. Hmm, wait a second. <gasps> wait, it all makes sense. She's making some, um, some noises. Her stomach is stuffed full. <gasps> oh my goodness, and she's in lots of pain. <gasps> oh my goodness, there's only one possible explanation for all of this. Oh my goodness, she's, she's hungry. Are you hungry? Uh, I don't feel good. No wonder why you don't feel good. It's because you're hungry. Listen, when I get hungry, all logic gets thrown out the window, and I don't make any sense. So, uh, don't worry, babe. I'll make you something to eat. You want me to make you some of my world-famous banana soup? Uh-uh. Oh, you don't want banana soup? <gasps> oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, I gotta be a, a better boyfriend in the future. That's right. Sick people. When people are sick, the last thing they need is soup. They don't need soup. Sick people don't eat soup. Um, okay. Alright, don't worry. Don't worry, sweetie. I'll make you something excellent and delicious and scrumptious. I'm a master chef if I say so myself. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. What would you make for a sick person? Uh, let's see. Um, let's see in the fridge. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's, uh, let's get out some ingredients in here. Um, alright, let's see. There's some, uh, some, some spinach. Uh, there's some, um, there's a giant stick of butter. Okay, uh, here, let me get out a pot. Okay, put this in the pot. Okay, let's see what else is there. Uh, we got some beans. Ooh, beans make me feel pretty good. Uh, what else is something yummy? Ooh, chocolate syrup. Okay, we'll put some, so yeah, might as well just put the whole bottle in there too. Uh, let's see, um, aha, uh -huh, we got some eggs. All right, I'm gonna put those in there. Make sure to leave in the eggshells for extra crunch. Uh, let's see, what else is there that would be yummy for my sweetheart? Uh, let's see here. Um, uh, what else is in here? Uh, could throw in, could throw in some milk, but, eh, if she wants milk, she can just pour in her own milk into it. Uh, let's see here. Um, and I guess, ooh, uh, we could throw in an orange. Alright, put in an orange and... Ooh, we also have a lemon, too. Okay, put in a lemon. All right, there we go. There's everything up. Now I just got to chop it all up. Chop, 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 chop. And uh, let's see. All right, now I just got to stir it up and put it in the oven. Set the oven to 2,000 degrees. All right, it should be ready in three, two, one. Beep, beep. And it's ready. All right, sweetie. My gourmet meal is finally ready. I call it Fred's Mystery Surprise. You want to come sit at the table and enjoy this delicious meal with me? Oh, yeah, that's right. She's sick. Uh, okay. I'll, I guess I'll let you eat it in bed. Oh, whenever my dad catches me eating food in bed, he takes his belt and whips me with it. So, uh, eh, but, eh, 
My dad's not here now, so here you go, sweetie. Just eat all this. Fred, what are you doing? What the? Oh, hey, it's my other anime waifu. How are you? Um, don't you, uh, don't you mean anime waifus as in plural since both of us just walked in? Charlie, I don't know what you've had recently to make you think that, but whatever it is, you must be tripping hard. So, uh, if you could let me know later what you've been having, I would like to get on, on in on, uh, some of that stuff. That would be pretty good. Fred, what are you, what are you doing? Oh, uh, a sexy puppet, uh, said, uh, said she wanted me to make her a gourmet man meal. So I made her, uh, Fred's surprise. Would you, would you like to eat some? Fred, uh, that, you probably shouldn't give a sick person some random food. Uh, well, uh, I'll have you know, this is the cure to every disease in the entire world. I'm pretty sure if you eat that, you'll get every disease in the entire world. Anyways, you shouldn't give a sick person that. You should probably just give them water. She isn't feeling well, you know. Here you go. Just just drink some water. There you go. Oh, man. But I worked so hard on this Fred surprise. Uh, hey, Charlie, you want some? Uh... No. Oh, what does nobody enjoy the great meals I make? Well, guess that means more for me. <coughs> Delicious. <sighs> Alright, there you go. Uh, are you feeling any better? Uh, oh, gu guys, I'm really worried about her. She's been getting worse by the day. I I'm really concerned. Wait, is she gonna die? I don't want mom to die. No, she's not gonna die. I, I hope not. That would that would be bad if she suddenly just lost the will to live, but uh that that would be a stupid way to die. Anyways, um no, I uh, hmm I'm really concerned about her though. If she doesn't get better soon though, then yeah, something severe might end up happening. Oh come on you two. I think you both are worrying over nothing. Besides, we have absolutely nothing to worry about, I promise. <laughs> oh no, I think something's coming! Oh! That scream hurt my ear holes! Oh my goodness! Wait, oh my goodness, is everything okay? Uh... Oh no, guys, I think she's gonna give birth! Wait, what? What the heck does that mean? Fred, that means she's gonna give birth to a child! Wait, oh my goodness, wait, when one new life comes into this world, another life must be taken out of it. Oh no, this really is bad! I haven't had enough time to prepare the sacrifice! Wait, what the heck are you talking about? I need to sacrifice somebody, and uh, Charlie, you're it! That's it, where's the knife? I'm gonna stab Charlie! Wait, what?! <gasps> Fred, stop! Stabbing Charlie won't solve all our problems, as much as I wish it would. Wait, what, Mom? Mm, oh my goodness. Okay, this couldn't get any more chaotic than it already is. Mm, hey guys, I just woke up for my nap. What's going on? Oh, hey, it's my future anime waifu. What, Fred? What? It's true, Charlie. It's true. How are you, Mary? Mm. I'm good, I was trying to sleep, but what's up with all the screaming? Oh, uh, we were about to start the sacrifice, you wanna help us? Mm, I don't know. Hey, Fred, you wanna go play some video games? We haven't played in a while, I think it would be fun. Yeah, sir, we can play right now. What? No, you can't, Fred, not right now! What? Why, Charlie? Video games, Charlie. Can't you see? Sexy Pup is about to give birth to your child and you wanna go play video games? Yes, yes I do. Fred, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity and you should be blessed that you're here to be able to witness it. Oh, fine, Charlie, whatever you say afterwards, okay? Mm, okay. Wait, what's going on? Oh, congratulations. It's a girl. Oh, you did so good. Oh, congratulations. Oh, hey, Balloon Boy, what's up? <laughs> Never again. Oh, why do I come back here every time it's a mistake? I hate this place. I hate this world. All I want is death. <laughs> please, somebody just end it all for me, please. Wait, end it all? Balloon Boy, you would have been a perfect victim for my sacrifice, but... I guess it turns out we, we didn't need to have a sacrifice at all, so, uh, I don't think I can help you there. Sorry, pal. <laughs> Balloon Boy, what are you doing? I've been looking all over for you. What are you doing back here? JJ, I've seen unseenable things. Again, this isn't even the first time this has happened to me. What did I do to deserve this? 
Um, I think you've done a lot of bad things throughout your entire life. <laughs> I take it all back. It wasn't worth it for this. <laughs> Fred, you need to come say hi to your daughter. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, she's a, she's a precious little angel. Well, you, you know she's, she's a lot smaller than I, than I thought she would be, but, uh, that's okay because she'll grow and I'll guide her to a good path and, wow, I, I can't believe it. I was able to create this? Wow, this is truly life changing. Charlie was right. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna remember this day forever and ever and ever. Wow, she's, she's so adorable and... Wow, she's my daughter. Wow, I can't believe it. I'm, I'm finally a dad. Wow, this is truly life changing. Oh, but don't worry, my sweet little child. I will take care of you forever and ever and ever. Um, Fred, that's a piece of bread. What? How dare you say anything rude about my child? Listen, I'm going to become a good father and I will not take any type of criticism for an answer, alright? And you can't judge people by the way how they look. Look at me, for example. Everyone says I'm a baked potato because I'm pretty sure I am a baked potato. But listen, I will not have you say any rude things to my child and I'm going to take care of my child forever and ever and ever. And I'll make sure absolutely nothing bad happens to her ever. Isn't that right, sweetie? Wait, what the- Where'd my precious child go? No, she was just born! Where'd my precious child go when I- Oh, mm, you aren't gonna eat this, were you? No! Anyways, Fred, if you're done messing around, do you want to come see your actual daughter? Oh, she's so cute! Oh, what? Oh, uh, okay, and uh, wait. <gasps> wow, and wait, hold on a second. Wait a second, see? Wow. She, she looks a lot like Charlie. Well, I guess that would make sense. Charlie does have the same mother as her. Aww, hi there. Aww, she must be so tired. Wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second. My brain cells are turning. Wait a minute. My child looks very similar to Charlie and- <gasps> Wait a minute. That can only mean- <gasps> Charlie, what the heck is wrong with you? What What did I do? Charlie, ouch! Fred, ow! What the heck was that for? Charlie, I thought we were friends. But we are- I want to be more than friends. <gasps> are you finally wanting to, you know, try to get with me now? No, Charlie, no! Listen, how could you? I thought we were friends. I can't believe you would betray me like this. What? I, I don't- I don't understand what's going on. <gasps> My child looks very similar to you, and that could only mean one simple thing. Charlie, you got your mother Im impregnated. You impregnated her. How could you do that, Charlie? How could you do that? I thought we was friends. Wait, what? What the heck, Charlie? You are truly evil. I can't believe you would do this. Um, Fred, even if I did want to get my own mom pregnant, I don't think I'd be able to. Hmm. Wait, oh, I just, wait, I just realized something. Oh my goodness. What, what happened? Wait, I just realized. So, since, since Sexy Puppet's my mom and now she's the mother of your child and that means, that means I have a half-sister now. Oh, uh, why is today traumatizing? This day hurts my brain cells. Oh, come on, Balloon Boy. Calm down, calm down. It's gonna be okay. No, it's not. Oh my goodness, what the heck is up with all the noise and all the screaming? I can hear you guys on the other side of the pizzeria. What the heck is going on in here? <gasps> hey dad, guess what? I'm a dad now. I have my own daughter. Take a look at her. Wh what? That's right dad, I'm a dad. Joe! Oh! oh my goodness, Freddy, are you okay? Oh, my back just gave out. Oh no! What's wrong, Freddy Fazbear? I'm, I'm getting old. Oh, I'm old. I'm getting old. How the heck do I already have a grandchild? What the heck? Oh, I feel so old. Huh, um, okay, well, I, I guess it's gonna shock some people. Um, how about we get you back to your office, Freddy? Oh, come on, Balloon Boy, let's get out of here. Thank goodness, please get me out of this place. I never want to come back. 
Come on, Freddy. Let, let's let's get out of here. Oh, I'm so old. I know you're old. I know you're old. Oh, back in my day, Bonnie used to be at the pizzeria. I know. Or eh, eh. You tell you say whatever you want, Grandpa. Let's get you to bed. Oh. Well, I think he took the news well. I think you're gonna get kicked out soon. What? Don't say that, Charlie. Listen, I'm gonna become the best parent ever, alright? Listen, I'm gonna plan a week full of fun activities. Wait, hold on a second. I just realized something. Fred, what are you, what are, what is, what name are you gonna have for, uh, for you and Sexy Puppet's daughter now? The name? Hmm. Well, originally, me and Sexy Puppet have already talked about this before. Originally, if it was a boy, we were gonna name it Ed. What, Ed? Why? Because it's uh, half of Fred, so it would be Ed, you know, because uh, cause you take my dad's name, Freddy, cut it in half, that Fred, and you take my name, cut it in half, then it'll be Ed. So uh, I was really hoping for a boy. Uh, but uh, Sexy Puppet said if it was a girl, she so wanted it to be named Emily. Emily, huh? Hmm. Well, welcome to the world, little Emily. Uh... Well, I think we should let her and Sexy Puppet rest for a little while. They both seem very, very tired, so we should probably, you know, let them rest. Oh, okay. Also, something that's kind of been wondering on my mind, um, hmm. What, what, what's up? I don't know, it's just very interesting that it's taken this long for a sexy puppet to give birth. Normally, for us animatronics, we give birth a, a lot sooner, so, uh, I'm just wondering why it's taken so much longer this time around. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think it's probably because of all those poisonous batches of banana soup I fed her. Wait, you- what? What'd you do? Oh, yeah, uh, a couple- a couple months ago, I was testing out some new batches of banana soup, trying to make it the perfect batch it could possibly be, and, uh, we had a bunch of failed batches and stuff, and, uh, in order to tell if a batch was good or not, I made Sexy Puppet try each and every single one of them, and, uh, I think that's something that made her sick and stuff, so I think some of it might have been poisoned, I, I don't know. Wait, you gave poison to a pregnant woman? Fred, what's wrong with you? Lots of things, Charlie. Lots of things. Well, anyways... Uh, doop a doop a doop. Hey, Mary, you want to go play video games now? Oh, yes, I would love to. Let's go play. Ugh, oh, y'all, all, all of y'all hurt my head. Ugh, it's like so hot out. I want to go back inside. Why are we even out here? Because we're going to play a game, Emily. We're going to play a game together. Uh, I don't want to play a game with you. Well, come on, Emily. Let's, we're gonna have some fun together. Listen, Emily, we're gonna do something I've always dreamed about doing. Listen, Emily, ever since I was an itty-bitty little child... Actually, I don't think I've ever been itty-bitty. I think I've always been a big boy. But anyways, Emily, the point is, I've always wanted to play catch with my dad. And he's played with me sometimes, but he's never been too enthusiastic enthusiastic about it so uh i want to play with you and i want to be able to have a lot and lot and lot of fun with you and i think it's gonna be a lot of fun Ugh, but it's so hot out here i want to go back inside where there's the ac i love that so much more than you well come on this is gonna be fun you even haven't tried playing catch yet uh if i play catch with you then can I go back inside afterwards? Yeah, sure. Yeah, we could do whatever you want. But I really want to play catch with you. So I have the ball, and I'm going to throw it to you, and you just have to catch it, okay? Ugh, fine. Whatever. Just throw it. Okay, sweet. All right, here you go, Emily. I'm going to throw the ball. All right, here you go. Oh, you, you didn't catch it. Ugh, it was like too far away. That was like a terrible throw. I threw it like right next to you. Well, pick up the ball and throw it back to me. Ugh, okay, whatever. So what do I do? Just throw it at you? Yeah, throw it at me, throw it at me, throw it at me. Ugh, okay. I just don't understand why we can't play this game inside. Well, the reason why we're playing this outside is because my dad always say that we can't play catch inside because if you play catch inside, you have a high chance that you're probably going to break something and honestly, I don't want to get in trouble. So that's why we're playing outside. And if you play catch outside, you're guaranteed to never break anything ever, ever, ever. Ugh. Okay, whatever. I just wanted to know. I didn't ask for a full story. Alright, uh, here you go. Shoot! There, I did it. I threw the ball. Now can I go inside? Oh, oh, that hit me right in the neck. Oh, all of a sudden all the oxygen in my body just said bye-bye. Oh, that hurt. Oh, oh, you know what? I'm 
Second thought, I think this game is probably too dangerous for you. Ugh, thank goodness. Now can I go back inside? No, we're gonna play a different game instead. Uh, I don't wanna. Come on, it's gonna be fun. Uh, here, I know a game we could play instead. You wanna play hide and seek with me? No. Well, too bad, you're gonna play anyway. Alright, listen up, Emily. Listen, hide and seek is a very, very complex game, okay? So, I know, I know you're a new player, and so that's why I'm gonna go in-depth into the rules. Uh, I don't wanna go in-depth. Can you just get to the point? Okay, fine. I'll, I'll, I'll make a long story short. Listen up, Emily. So, how hide-and-seek works is basically one person hides while the other person seeks, alright? Ugh, like, I had no idea that was a part of the game. <gasps> really? You didn't know? I finally taught you something? That was- I was being sarcastic. Of course I know how it works. Uh, it's in the name of the game. I just don't want to play with you. Well, you, listen. Listen, Emily. I'm going to make sure you get to love hanging out with me, okay? Yeah, right. Anyways, uh, so since you're, since you're new to this game, though, I'll let you decide. Do you want to hide or do you want to seek? Hmm, hide and seek. So... Wait, are you telling me that the person who goes hiding has to stay hiding until the seeker finds them? Yup, that's right. Hmm. Okay, you know what? I wanna hide. Oh, sweet! Okay, I guess I'll count. Uh, oh wait, what should I count to? Um, what's the biggest number you know? The biggest number I know? Uh, I mean, I only know how to count to 12. I think, but uh, the biggest number I know, I think it's like uh, a jillion billion. I think that's the biggest number I know. How about you count to that number? Uh, that seems like a very, very difficult task, but uh, and that thing that does seem like it will take a while. But okay, you know what? Just for you, Emily, I'll try my best. I'll try to count to a gil gajillion billion. Um, okay, I'll get the count right now. You better hide somewhere. Okay, uh, one. Uh, wait, what number comes next? Ugh, finally, I don't have to hang out with him anymore. I can't believe he's my dad. Ugh, he's such a loser. I'm going inside. Ugh, oh, the AC. Ugh, oh, it feels so good in here. Ugh, I can't believe he was trying to make me play games with him. Outside, for crying out loud. Ugh, who goes outside? Ugh, it's so gross out there. Ugh, I'm just gonna stay in here. I'm sure there's something I can find that I could do. Oh, what the heck? Ugh, who put this stupid vacuum here? I ran into it. Ugh. Yeah, that's right. I called you stupid because you are stupid. Vacuums are so dumb. Yeah, oh my gosh. Ew, and you're so ugly too. Ew. Oh, don't talk back to me. You're probably filled up with dust, you freak. Yeah, that's right. Also, why are your eyes so big? Uh, I'm pretty sure they're bigger than your brain. Ugh, this place is stupid. I'm surrounded by idiots. Oh my gosh. Oh man, I hate this place. Ugh. Why, yes! I would love some more tea, Toy Cupcake. Toy Cupcake! Toy Cupcake! Cupcake Cupcake! Oh man, I can't wait to have more of this delicious tea. Wait, what the heck? Mr. Hugs! Well, what's wrong, buddy? What's wrong? Um, hey, sorry, cupcakes. Uh, I think something's coming up. Uh, you guys continue this tea party without me. Toy cupcake! Cupcake, cupcake! Well, Mr. Hugs, are, are you okay? You're interrupting tea time. Wait, wait, what happened? A, a, a boy? <gasps> oh my goodness! Wait, Mr. Hugs, you're just saying you were minding your own business and then some girl bumped into you and then you fell on the floor and then she just started insulting you for no reason whatsoever and made you cry? <gasps> oh no, Mr. Hugs! You're gonna be okay. Listen, you're safe now, my sweet prince. You're safe now. Vroom, 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 vroom! See? You're safe right now, Mr. Hugs. As long as you're with me, you'll be safe and sound. Vroom, 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 vroom. No. 
Where is this peasant who's hurt Mr. Hugs' feelings? I will make them pay, and I will re make them regret the day they cross paths. Where are they? <gasps> oh my gosh. Did these kids really murder somebody? Wow, that's like so cool. I wonder if I could get their phone number somehow so that way I can call them to go after my dad. Ugh, he's so annoying. Who are you? Ugh, what now? You! Did you insult Mr. Hugs? You hurt his feelings, didn't you? Vroom, 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 vroom. Oh, what? The stupid vacuum has feelings? <gasps> So it is true! How dare you insult Mr. Hugs! I'll have you know that really hurts his feelings when people mess with him, and I'll have you know he is more than a vacuum. He is my best friend, and nobody, and I mean nobody, insults my best friend. So if I were you, I would better apologize right now! Ugh. Why would I ever apologize to a stupid vacuum cleaner? That's so dumb. Besides, what do you think you're gonna do about it? Your legs look like they're about to collapse from supporting your massive body weight, Tubby. <gasps> Tubby? <gasps> I promised myself I would never, ever hit a child, but I've hit Balloon Boy a million times, so I've got my practice rounds in. Or right, you know what? Fine. That's it. Prepare to die. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, approach! Wait, what the heck? Oh, my faith! Oh, that really hurt, you know? What the heck? What? Fred, get out of the way! I'm trying to teach this stupid child a lesson! Oh, my... What, what's going on? Oh, whatever Emily did, I'm sure it wasn't that bad. She insulted Mr. Hugs and made him cry. Vroom, 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 vroom. And all I wanted was for her to apologize, but she refused. Oh, what the heck? Emily, is that true? Did you really make fun of the one and only Mr. Hugs? Ugh, yeah, but he's a dumb vacuum. Stop! Don't say that, Emily. Listen, I know you're new to this world, but people have feelings too, you know. Ugh, even dumb vacuums? Yes, even dumb vacuums. Now, now, wait, what, what did you say you wanted? I just wanted her to apologize to Mr. Hugs. What she did was mean and uncalled for, and all I want is justice. Vroom, 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 vroom. Oh, okay. Emily, just say you're sorry. What? But I'm not. I said, say you're sorry. Ugh, fine. Hey, like, I'm sorry or whatever. Vroom, 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 vroom. Mr. Hugs, were you satisfied with that apology? Vroom, 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 vroom. Hmm. Okay, I'm glad we can agree on something. Glad that was all settled. Anyways, Mr. Hugs, do you want to have tea time with me and the cupcakes? Mm. Vroom, 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 vroom. Yay, let's go have some tea. Vroom, 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 vroom. Ugh, well, that was dumb. I can't believe it. Emily, it's only been one day since you've been in this world and you're already causing problems. Yeah, and so, what about it? Like, you really are my daughter. What? I too. Listen, Emily, when I also came into this world, I also caused problems. My mom said I was a mistake to me when I was born. Huh, no kidding. Oh my goodness, but that really does mean you are my daughter. You're following in my footsteps, and honestly, I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but I am proud of you. Ugh, sure, okay, whatever. But wait, hold on a second, you cheated in our game. You weren't supposed to come find me. Uh, Emily, have you forgotten what the game was called? It was called Hide and Seek. Also, um... Uh, yeah, I may or may not have uh, used the skipper few uh, card where you get to skip all the numbers and just go seek immediately and stuff. So, I'm glad I did use that though. Well, if you would have gotten beaten up and I can't have my sweet precious little angel get beaten up. Ugh, I'm not an angel. Mm. 